What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Ty Lego Guy here and welcome to episode 5 of Ty Talks. Uh, so we got some really good questions for this episode. Uh, you guys asked, my favorite one was uh, what was my favorite Star Wars or um, what is the best Star Wars? Let's just, let's be frank. Uh, so we're going to get into that and break it down. Uh, you also asked some other good ones um, and we're also going to be incorporating some cool mocks into this uh, video. After doing that voting poll, I could see a lot of you guys want to see cool mocks. So I thought I'd incorporate that in this. And again, if you guys have questions for next uh, Thai Talks episode, just leave them in the comments and I'll answer them in episode six. But enough talk, let's get right into it. And our first question, it comes from Jawa. So let's just get right into it. Um, he asked the question is, what is your favorite Star Wars movie? Awesome question. Uh, you know what? The best Star Wars movie in my opinion out there. Let's just throw it out on screen. Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back is by far the best Star Wars movie. Now, why do I say that? Okay, well first off, you have the Battle of Hoth. I mean, who doesn't like that battle. Even by today's standards, it's a really, really good battle. Um, you get, obviously, you find out when, who Vader is, that Vader's Luke's father. I mean, you know, huge, the big story. You also get, uh, well, that, that it makes it a little bit weird, Luke and Leia kissing in that episode. So that, that definitely gets a negative mark, but all in all, just a fantastic scene. Uh, you know, when Vader and Luke fight on Bestman, great. When you, Luke goes to Dagobah, I mean, it has everything a good story should have. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on that, what your favorite Star Wars is. I'd be interested to know. Um, some other key ones, though, that I want to mention, my favorite ending to any Star Wars is Star Wars Episode Six, When Vader turns back into being Anakin, that is probably the most emotional scene in Star Wars, uh, or one of the most emotional. And then as far as fight scenes go, especially lightsaber fight scenes, Episode three takes the cake far and above um, any other Star Wars movie. Although Duel of Fates is also very good and uh, any of the fight scenes between Luke and Vader is generally good as well. But, that, that, but that's that question. Great question. And our next Let's question comes on. from uh, Nice Office. Thanks, man. Uh, also, do you think you will ever check out custom Lego like Brick Mania or Custom Bricks? So this is from Brick Unleasher. I was somewhat familiar with Brickmania before you mentioned this, but you know what? That's actually just throw um, them on screen a little bit, just so you guys know what uh, Brickmania and Custom Bricks kind of are. So folks, this are. is Brickmania. This is kind of what it's all about. So literally you just type in Brickmania and it comes up. Um, but what I thought was really cool about this site, um, I'll show you guys, we'll go into building kits. And uh, they make some really cool looking stuff. Like let's just take a look at this tank. Um, this is the Soviet heavy tank, very, very nice looking model. Um, they put a lot of detail. I mean, this looks like high quality, uh, Lego sets, like a UCS set and it's all built in snot. Now that means, um, basically there's no studs on top. It's just, anyways, very, very nice looking model. Uh, let's get into a couple other, uh, building kits. Um, another one that was really cool. Uh, they got some cool looking World War II, um, some biplanes. Lego actually made a biplane that's super similar to that, um, the Camel. Now it's not in production, I don't believe anymore. Um, this is sort of a smaller model than what Lego kind of came up with. But as you guys can see, there's a lot of really cool uh, looking sets. Um, they even have some stuff on the Vietnam War. Here's a really nice looking Jeep. Just all in all, great looking sets. Um, but now let's take a look into custom bricks. But if you guys are looking for some really cool looking, uh, basically World War sets, uh, definitely check these guys out. And we're actually gonna be looking at some mocks later on from these guys. And now we've made our way on to custom bricks. So first off, <laughs> we're gonna start with Star Wars. They got some awesome looking stuff. Um, no, they do say these are instructions. I'm not sure if you can get uh, the pieces for it. I'm assuming you can, but there's a very nice looking AAT or ATT. I always get those mixed. Um, AAT. 
Uh, anyways, very nice looking models. As you guys can see, they even have a, a custom UCS, Slave 1, and a communal landing platform for Star Wars. This is what I've imagined to make a mock out of. And literally these guys have already made it, like, just amazing. L look at this. I mean, they did such a good job. Um, they've sort of based it off, obviously, the UCS Slave 1, like Bubba's. Anyways, very, very, very cool. I was highly impressed by this. Um, let's now just take a gander a little bit more at this site. Give you guys a little bit of idea what these guys kind of do. Uh, lots of Star Wars stuff. They also have some really custom looking uh, semis. Or you guys call them trucks. Just simply trucks in Europe. Uh, anyways, very cool looking uh, site. Definitely check these guys out. Um, I will be as well, and their prices are actually pretty reasonable. That's basically like 26 so Very US. cool um, shopping sites for uh, third-party Lego. Um, but to answer your question, if I'd ever maybe buy from these guys, uh, Brickmania looks really appealing. Um, I really like the World War type stuff. The only thing is their prices are a bit high. Uh, maybe if they go on clearance, I might think about it. And as far as the, um, what is the other one called? The uh, custom Lego, like a custom bricks. Uh, actually, their prices seem actually quite reasonable. I will probably definitely be looking into them. I really like some of their models. Some of their Star Wars, Star Wars stuff looks really cool. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks for bringing this to our attention. Those are really cool sites to buy Lego. And our next question comes to us from Watto Extreme, and he asked the question, you like dank memes? So I don't use the word dank too often, just so you guys know what dank means, because I was like, what is this guy after? The adjective dank is often used to describe places that would have moist, terrible word, or damp walls. A dank cave can provide hundreds of bat shelter, but you probably wouldn't want to visit them. That's not what he's saying though. Uh, if you look at dank memes, uh, yeah, it, it means a meme uh, in which the comedy is excessively overdone and nonsensical uh, to the point of being comically ironic. So if you're asking if I like ironic memes, uh, yes, I like ironic memes. But yeah, that pretty well does the questions. Again, if you guys have any, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them next episode. But let's now get into the mock segment. Uh, there's some really cool looking mocks that we found. Um, yeah, let's check them out. So the first uh, mock that we look at, as promised, was going to be a Brick Mania mock. Look at this thing. I mean, this is amazing. Look at the tree detail, the, the sand detail, these tanks that are coming in. Let's just zoom in on this uh, mock a little bit more. I wish there was more pictures, but I couldn't find any more. Um, I believe that this is taking place somewhere in Asia during World War II, or it could be the uh, Vietnam War. But all in all, very nice looking. Look at these tanks coming in out of the water, uh, you know, to go and face off. Like, I mean, just, wow, this really want, make me, makes me want to get into Brick Mania. I also love some of the detailing. As you guys can see, there's little flames, things have blown up. Look at the detail on these minifigs too, like there's... Looks like the guy has really detailed leg printing, even boot printing. Um, again, I wish there was a p more pictures of this, but this was all I could find. But you can see how fantastic of a job they've done. So yeah, this is the first mock. Let's now and move on. And our next on. mock. Um, this is not doesn't have any Brick Mania builds in it, but I do believe it has the UCS Imperial Shuttle, and it's uh, brought to us by Lego Maniac, using that great term, Jay Hoff. He used over 30,000 bricks to create this intricate scene of the Emperor's arrival and Return of the Jedi. He cheated and used some clone troopers instead of stormtroopers though. Which, I was kind of like, why did he do that? But then, you know what, could have been just like an earlier time frame if you kind of think about it that way. <laughs> There's even Darth Maul in this, but this guy's done such a fantastic job. I mean, just the amount of troopers, the fact that it's all like, you know, you can't see the studs. Such a good job. He has those old school type of um, Imperial officers, although he's substituted their faces for something else. Uh, anyways, great looking mock. Very, very impressed. Uh, he's obviously take some, taken some liberties as well. He has battle droids and whatnot in it. Uh, I believe there's even lights in this, just because um, those look like light cables right here. And as you guys can see, Maybe there isn't light cables, but all in all, great looking set, great 
uh, looking detail. It looks like you used some greebling, a lot of greebling, which is basically just like details on walls and ships to make it look like authentic working, basically interiors or, you know, spacecraft. Um, but yeah, let's now move on to the next mock. And the last mock that we'll take a look at is this beautiful looking castle. It's brought to you by Marco Then Bestin. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, he calls his walled city called Armor Tug. Uh, took him around three to four months to build. It looks incredible. Honestly, it really does. Let's actually just break down the detail of this mock a little bit more uh, and zoom in. Uh, a couple things I just want to mention is just how clean this mock, this mock looks. I mean, look at the castles. There's no studs showing. Uh, I love how he incorporated the water. As you guys can see, there is white, blue, and light blue that kind of make, you know, it just gives a very good looking uh, water aesthetic to it. It just looks very accurate. These medieval ships look great. Just all in all, great job. The trees, the size of this castle, it really reminds me, obviously, of Lord of the Rings. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at a couple more pictures off of this mock. Um, here's another one. I mean, he has little carts running by. There's obviously an interior to the back of this as well. This was the picture that we just looked at. And there's an extremely annoying ad. Um, here's another picture. He's incorporated little, um, goats in this some little bit of Lord of the Rings right there there's some dwarves so just a great looking mock here's these medieval ships okay this is based off Lord of the Rings I'm like this looks extremely similar to Lord of the Rings um, anyways there's some elves on their elfish ships some more custom builds <laughs> he has revels that those are tauntauns anyways just great looking mock uh, Tons of pictures, which I really appreciate as well. Some nice looking bridges. And then here's a uh, top view of this uh, mock. Hopefully he shows us the interior. Okay, here's a little bit more of the interior. As you guys can see, if you want to narrow down your search and uh, just pause it. And then you can, um, not narrow down your search, but pause it if you want to get a better look at what we're kind of looking at. But just magnificent job. That's the final mock I thought we could look at. Hopefully you guys like incorporating this into Talks. Well guys, that pretty well does this episode of Thai Talks along with uh, some awesome looking mocks. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you guys liked it and you guys like this idea. I'm gonna try and do this, um, yeah, I'll try and do these Thai Talks mixed with mocks once a month. I've been a little irregular lately, but I gotta get on it. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you need the channel, definitely consider subscribing. And click that bell so you're notified for any future Thai talks we do on this uh, channel. But yeah, that's all I got for you today. But uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.